For this demonstration, we are going to look at activity 2.3, Get Connected, and how to code trace a variable. We're going to be following along in the student guide with item number six. Here we'll actually go ahead and create a program in make Microsoft Make Code to code trace a variable, and then we'll use a code tracing chart to actually trace our variable. So what we're going to do here is we are basically going to look at how to go ahead and set up a variable and send that variable multiple times through the radio send value feature. So in our student guide, the first thing it would like for us to do is to go ahead and start with an on a button pressed event handler. So with our on a button pressed, this is going to trigger our program. So after we do that, the next thing it's asking us to do is it wants us to make a variable which is going to be x. So in my variable drawer, I'm going to go ahead and make a variable and we're going to label that variable as x. Now that we have it, we can set it or we can call it at any time. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to set that variable to be x equal to, and right now we have it set as zero. We're going to go ahead and change that to a math equation. So we're going to go ahead and set that to be x is equal to five times six. So at this point, when we hit the A button, our variable x should be equivalent to 30. We could then go ahead and change our variable by going ahead and setting it again. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. So we're going to set the variable x to be, in this case, we're going to drop the variable in, x. And this time, we're going to go ahead and add 6 to it. So when we hit the A button, we are setting our variable to be 5 times 6, which is 30. We're then going to set the variable x again to whatever x equaled above, which was 30, and we're going to add 6. So our variable x should now be set to 36. We'll go ahead and bring in another one, and we're going to go ahead and set that to x. And let's go ahead and use a division for this. So now we're going to divide 6. So if we quickly code trace our variable, when the A button is pressed, x should be equivalent to 5 times 6, which is 30. Then we're setting x to be 30 plus 6, which is 36. And then we're going to set x again to be 36 divided by 6, which should be the number 6. The next step of this is to go ahead and send that value over to a second micro bit. So in order to do that, we're going to bring in a second event handler, which is going to be this on radio received name and value. By bringing that event handler in, what we're going to see is that we've created new variables. We have name and value along with the X that we created earlier. What we are going to want to do is be able to receive whatever this value is equal to when the A button is pressed on micro bit 1. But before we do that, we need to send that information. So in our radio drawer, we're going to look at our radio send value, name, which is a string, and it's equal to 0. We are going to have to change a few things in this block. So that radio send value, we're going to change to answer because that's what we're sending. And instead of sending the number zero, we want to send this variable. So I'm going to bring that variable back in. So no matter what this changes to above, it's always going to send what the final result is of that variable. For our on radio received, we want to receive the name, but we don't want to receive the value. We want to receive the x, whatever that variable is. Now, in order to display that, we're going to go up and show our number. And we don't want to show the number 0, but what we want to actually show is whatever that variable is equal to. Now, by clicking the A button on micro bit 1, you can see it brings in a second micro bit. If I hit the A button again, micro bit 1 should send that variable to micro bit 2. And in this case, we should see the number 6. And there you go. So we now have demonstrated that we can do a little code tracing or sending variables to our second micro bit. The second part of this activity is to code trace that variable. So what you're going to see is we're going to kind of break this down. We have several different tasks that we have to look at. What happens when the on a button is pressed? What happens when we set x to 5 times 6? We set x to x plus 6. Set x to x divided by 6. And then what happens when we radio send value? We also have to identify what happens when we receive that information. So what we're going to look at with our code tracing chart, 
I've created several columns along with th or three columns with several rows. We're going to go ahead and fill in our code. So the code here is going to basically be what is happening in, in our program. So you can see that we have an on a button pressed. We then went ahead and set X to five times six. We set X to X plus six. We set X to X divided by six. And then we went ahead and send the value, which is the answer of X. The last was when we actually received that last uh, data packet from microbit one. So now if we take a look and do a little code tracing here, let's look at the outcome. When the A button is pressed, what should happen is that the math computation should begin in our program. And we demonstrated that by actually hitting the A, we can see that all those math computations actually did come out to the number six. So the first one's pretty easy. We do know that that one works. So that should be a yes. The second one we have is if we set X to five times six, what should that variable actually equal? In this case, we know that five times six should equal the number 30. We can test this in our microbit program by pulling out those two lines of code. Now, if we select the A button, we should see the number 30 instead of the number six. And there you go. So we know that five times six equals 30, that that does work correctly. Now, the next one, when we're going to add six, in this case, we already know that 30 plus six, because we set X, which is 30 plus six to equal 36. Our variable is now equivalent to 36. So let's go ahead and just to check, we can bring in that block of code. And again, if we hit the A button, we should see the number 36 appear. So another way to check our code did work. Now for the final part here for our variable is we are going to go ahead and take our variable, which is 36, and divide that by six and get a new value of six. And we did demo that before. And when we did that, we did see that we got the number six. So again, we can tell that yes, this part of the program did work. Now for the radio send value answer of X, what is actually happening here is that our microbit is going to send a data packet, which is going to be the answer in the form of a variable to another microbit. Now we did demo that when we hit the, the letter, the A button, it did send it to the second microbit. So we know that it was capable of sending that data packet from one microbit to another. Now in order to receive, what is actually happening here is we are actually going to now receive that data packet. When that data packet is received, we should show the value of that variable, which is the number six on the LED grid. And once again, we did see that. So this is just one example of how to code trace a variable and make Microsoft make code along with the use of your code tracing charts.